I'm going to start the wings using FYG1. It's one of their fluorescent shades. I'm going to have a color blend on these wings. They're going to blend from one color to another. It's going to be beautiful. Then I feather the strokes like this, flicking, because I'm gonna. That's where I'm gonna do the blend to a different color. My next color is FYG2, and I'm not gonna go over onto the um, rim of the wing. I want to leave that yellow. I'm just gonna feather these strokes like this, back and forth like this, and then come back with the yellow right away and blend this edge. Go right into the green. You see how that uh, hard edge is disappearing. Do the same thing on the next wing. Now here's another trick to, to get a good blend. I've shown you this before, where you can take a little bit of the color from your darker color and put it on the lighter uh, marker. You just grab a little bit of it, and then you start in the area where it's all dark, and then you work and feather you feather the strokes out towards the lighter area. So into the dark and then out towards the light. And it makes a, a really nice blend. And I love how these alcohol markers will be able to withstand that and they won't keep that color on the tip. It just comes off as you're coloring. That's why I have to keep going back for more. So you will not sully your markers this way. It causes a nice seamless blend from one color to the other. But we have lost a little bit of the green, so I'll fix that up later. But right now I'm going to put in some blue. It's a B01. And uh, when we get close to the next color, instead of doing the circles, that's when we start feathering the strokes. So circles where it's just blue, and then feather strokes into the green. Come back in with a little bit of green just to give it a little more, give that hue a little bit more depth and intensity. So it's got some beautiful bright colors on here. You can just keep going back into it to blend it again. I'm working on Make It Crafty Blending Card. It's my absolute favorite paper for Copic markers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show a little bit of shading. I'm going to give this wing um, ridge a little bit of shadow just underneath it just to show that it's receding right there and curving back a bit. And a little bit at the bottom where the light is not going to be as strong. And in between these two wings. 
and as always go back in with your color over top of the gray. forgot to do this little ridge too. Whatever you do on one wing, of course, remember to do it on the other. And there you have the wings. And here's the finished product, all ready to go on a card.